Today we're making a delicious Mediterranean chicken bowl served over farro that's perfect for lunch and meal prep. So let's start with the farro. To a medium sauce pot, I'm adding one cup of farro and three cups of water. Then we're gonna add a little salt and cover with a lid. We allow it to cook over medium high heat until it starts to boil. From there, we reduce the heat to medium low and simmer for 30 minutes. Cooking your farro is something that can be done ahead of time, so it makes this a terrific recipe to meal prep. Now while that's cooking, let's get started on the chicken. In this large zip bag, I added some chicken breast, olive oil, lemon zest, the juice from a lemon, chopped garlic, dried oregano, some salt, and black pepper. Now this chicken marinated for about an hour, and this is something that you can definitely prep it the night before and keep it in the fridge, and even cook it ahead of time, so all you have to do is assemble. So I have my skillet here warming up over medium high heat. And the next thing we wanna do is add a little olive oil and the chicken breast. You wanna hear that sizzle and keep your chicken in place to ensure a good sear. Cook that one side for five to seven minutes, flip and cook the other side until the internal temperature has reached 165 Fahrenheit and the chicken is cooked through. Now next, moving on to our veggies. For these chicken farro bowls, I'm really sticking to the classic Mediterranean ingredients. We have grape tomatoes, cucumber, onions, tzatziki sauce, and feta cheese. So as you can see, our farro is cooked, and to test it, you just give it a quick try and see if it will feel soft, kind of like rice. Now it is ready, and all you have to do is turn off the heat and drain off any excess water you give it a quick stir. Now that all of our ingredients are ready, all we have to do is slice our chicken. Another essential tip for moist chicken is to make sure you cut it against the grain before and after cooking. To assemble, let's start with a scoop of the farro into the bowl. Then we top it with our grilled chicken, tomatoes, cucumbers, olives, a little red onion, the sticky sauce, and a sprinkle of feta. I'm also getting a little fancy with some fresh chopped dill and a squeeze of lemon. I'm also going to show you how I prep these gorgeous bowls in meal prep containers. But first, so refreshing and the chicken, mm, it's perfectly cooked. Now I'm one of those people that love some meal prep and this recipe is killer for that. In a glass meal prep container, I'm going to layer the farro, top it with chicken, tomatoes, red onions, cucumber, olives, and feta. While some of these ingredients are eaten cold in the bowl, I don't mind the taste of them when they're warmed up in the microwave. However, you can totally skip warming up this meal and eat at room temperature or right out of the fridge like a salad. I'm gonna pack this tzatziki in a sauce container and lunch is ready. See you next time.